Hello, Candle. Good evening, people. Candle is here. I know. I got home from a very lovely day, a very mysterious day, a day that was definitely filled by destiny. And I will explain a little bit how or why. First of all, I bought this baby a pyrite tower and it was very cheap. Hundred and eighty kronos. I don't know what that is in dollars, but it's not much. For this, that's not much. But if you want to see what I did today, it will be up on the vlog channel. But I met someone today <laughs> in the most random way ever. It's someone I have been speaking about a lot on this channel. <laughs> we crossed each other on the streets, randomly, the fact that that happened at that time, also because we had to go back to the tattoo shop because um, Keen's friend forgot something. So the timing in what happened today was crazy. It's, it's you know, if there has ever been a moment where I believe in destiny, <laughs> it is today. Of divine timing, that is. But yeah, I got to meet that that person today. Met up, just stood talking with each other, and that was very nice. That uh, yeah. So the point of me saying that is that uh, things happen at the time that things are supposed to happen. First of all, when you don't think about it, <laughs> that is actually a true thing. That is a. I can't even describe today because it's been crazy. It's been absolutely crazy today. But uh, yeah, just wanted you guys to know that destiny does what destiny does. When destiny does, the universe knows. And I can feel like my spirit guys are laughing their asses off because of today. Anyway, that is that. Is that. How was your day today? Did something crazy happen? Yeah. Well. It is some days before the new moon, right? Mm. But I wanted to tap in and just talk about faith and destiny and then also do some cards to make this day even more crazy. And then after I'm going to pre-record the daily for tomorrow so that that is done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many things that happened today. Like me and Kili got a gift from the shop owner because of our energy that we bring to the shop and because of the the videos that I always create like the promotion and just that in itself was so sweet that shop I know that shop plays or will play a big role in my future don't know how or when but it will just saw success for the second time but that was very uh yeah well, today, today, today has been a, I don't know what's happening, what is happening? <laughs> today has been very interesting. And just in general, hanging out with amazing people in the shop fills my heart. Good people. So, okay. Blessings. Let's see what else um, we can get today. What else is uh, the energy today? <laughs> we have two f <laughs> two bird cards. <laughs> First of all, we have freedom, which for me, that's something I realized today. Creating freedom in something, let something happen naturally, is apparently, <laughs> not apparently, it is the way to manifest. And it's the way with everything. The universe will bring you whatever is important when you so up with that detach which diligence right seeing something from another perspective and you just flow with it we also have taken risks so something today if it's something that has happened in your life or something that will happen 
There's something about freedom. There's something about taking risks. And this could be job related. It could obviously be love related. We will take tarot to see what comes up. I will just take the book. But just flowing with things. I have never been good at that. I have always been eager to know everything beforehand and then still trying to <laughs> manipulate what ha happens so that it happens just the way that I think things need to happen. But that's not how we manifest anymore, especially with the Pluto Aquarius shift. It's a... Well, we spoke about this, I mean, as we spoke about this shift, right? Like something happened, something shifted. Can't really explain how, when, or what it is, but there is some kind of calmness. And if some of you guys, you feel this calmness, don't be like, oh, maybe it's nothing. Because there's something around this calmness, this change, this shift, that pushes you into the right direction. Follow feels. So again, what are you following? What is it that you're following now? Your feelings, your talents yeah to be patient step carefully and slowly and know that the benefit you will gain in the future will be worth it again past position yeah might be a time to clear some kind of clutter out so that you can see what's actually happening in a situation how you feel yeah Clear out relationships that are no longer supporting you. I feel it's something we have done a lot before the Pluto shift, but it's probably something we're still doing in a way, or at least figuring out connections, right? Yeah. Figuring out connections and how we feel. Also how we feel when it comes to work, because also just from reading you guys' comments, a lot of you guys just shifting and changing careers, right? Like doing something completely new. I know that for myself. I never thought I would be tired of the photography, but I can feel like it's like I done, <laughs> I done it. Now it's time to try something new. I'm ready for a shift and it has been coming for a while for a lot, a lot of you, all of you, no matter if it's love or if it's career or whatever it is. It's like, I lived this life. I lived, life in a certain way and now it's time to live life in a different way so all your senses are activated now and you're like should i fly with with the rest of the group or should i take a u-turn and fly another way because if you actually look closer it doesn't look like that bird is flying the same way as the other birds does it and i actually never saw that it's like the other birds are stopping before going into the portal. But this swallow is like, let me check what's in here. Yeah, something new. <laughs> this day. I can't even describe what happened today. I can't even, I don't think my brain can really comprehend. What happened today with everything? No, it's just meeting someone that, <laughs> that I have had in my life for so long without meeting, and then suddenly right there in the effing streets of uh, Violet. <laughs> that was wild. Express yourself without hesitation, break free, and let your spirit fly. I heard some of you guys, you really have to fight for what it is that you want now. Whatever this is, like now is the time to fight for what you want, your freedom, your whatever. Something is shifting, turning for your benefit in a way. Like, especially when it comes to career, when it comes to people in general, it's like the shift, man. The shift is massive. But you're trying to still navigate, I feel. To be like, how? Where? Who? Yeah. 
Destiny Call. What is it that Destiny is calling it for? <clears throat> Could have been something with, you know, loss of a job or something. Something. I just like, things are shifting now. In a way. And then the King of Pentacles, so, yeah. It has come up a lot. What do we need to know with this? It does feel like Spirit is trying to make you aware of something. The High Priestess and the Ace of Wands. It's like your intuition already knows. Ding. Your intuition already knows. There is a new beginning. Maybe you need to be quiet about it. Maybe you need to just let it unfold naturally. Like something is happening naturally, I feel. And there's something to celebrate. It might still be hidden in a way. Something is uh, being celebrated. You're being celebrated. I mean, if you saw the daily today, right? The emperor actually came up, so it, he's back. And I think we got the... Did we get the four of wands? Was that in the daily? It's very calm feeling. We also have the hermit. Something is being activated. Like you have come to the end of a crossroad. <laughs> Just had the lovely lady that you guys are going to. She's going to be a guest reader. She said it to me. Like Sandra, you're at a crossroad. She did a, she did a love reading for me. <laughs> but I was so much insights inside in this that reading and one of the things he told me was that i'm at a crossroad and there's a lot of things that i am learning about myself with my value is that value value my value my worth and with the hermit we need to go we need to go we need to isolate ourselves to find out what it is that we actually are looking for which makes sense with the High Priestess. So, you're going within. And then you see everything from without. You know what I mean? Maybe that is what happens, to, you know, today or tomorrow or the next days, where you're just trying to be like, okay, what is actually happening in my life? Where am I going now? So there might be answers no questions that's being answered that's what i mean and you're being asked to take risks right but it's not like it's slow moving but there's something that you're detaching from to gain clarity if that makes sense especially with the hermit because there is something where it's like i feel like i'm walking into a wall all the time All the time I bump into this road. And it could be just like self-worth. <clears> there <throat> could be insecurities. There could be, well, maybe you're someone who's just have a tendency to isolate yourself every time something good happens out of fear. Or, you know, sometimes we are so afraid of losing things that we actually, well, either we grab them so tight <laughs> because we don't want to lose it. But that that's just not the right way. Or we pull completely back and isolate ourselves, right? There needs to be a middle ground here when it comes to allowing something to come into your life naturally. Well, <laughs> I get it, universe. I get it. Universe showed me today. <laughs> Like, this is what you get if you're just calm. <laughs> this is what happens, Sandra, <laughs> if you are just calm. I hope I can teach you guys this in one way or another. But it has a lot to do with inner work and inner feelings and slowness. And if there's something we humans that are good at, it's slowness. We do not like if things go slow, especially if it's something we're trying to manifest. But we are in the age of Aquarius, and we do have Pluto and Aquarius, so slow and steady wins the race. 
And now I have my tower. <laughs> my pirate. Pyrite tower. I hope this made sense for at least some of you. Some of you guys, you're running too fast into the future. You're trying too fast to figure something out because he's facing the future. I don't know if it's flipped, but the hermit turns to the past. So it's there's something about looking into the past and realizing something. Also, this bird is actually moving into the past, right? It has something to do with taking risks. So, there is something that's like, not that nothing is happening, but there's something you're realizing. And it still involves taking risks, in a way. But not being risky, taking risks, right? There's a difference. Thank you guys. 21, 21 with that. I will see you guys in the daily reading tomorrow. Bye.